All right, Lena, you are on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. How does it feel? Oh my God. It is a moment <laughs> in time. A moment in time. Human evolution yes. leaping into the future. I mean, did you have any clue that you would be on the cover? Um, not really. I mean, it's it's honestly, it's any girl could get the option or get the opportunity to do it. Um, I just felt like I just feel like, you know, I just was living every single day and it brought me to this moment and here it, it arrived. So I, you can't just, you get to just receive it and just love it and just say, we're all beautiful. And, but this history moment, oh my God, like, it's just, it's, it's so beautiful to be alive, to see all this happen. And Megan Thee Stallion and Naomi Osaka also like, exactly. we talk about that for a sec. Like, not only are you on the cover of this iconic issue, but you're sharing this honor with two baddies, <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion and Naomi Osaka. Three beautiful black women. Yeah. That is powerful. If you could describe how you're feeling in one word, what would it be? Immortalized. Yes, because this is forever. Yeah, it this is. is yeah. I could leave, we could, nothing's promised tomorrow, but this stays here on earth. Amen. So what was your reaction when you heard that you'd be sharing this honor with uh, Megan and Naomi? Well, I was getting like interviews from Google, Google alerts like all week. It was like Megan Thee Stallion is, she's been, she's rumored to be on the cover. Um, Lena Bloom is also making history. So I just was like, Megan Thee Stallion, like sell all the copies. Like I'm in it, they're gonna see me, they're gonna see all of us, but Megan Thee Stallion, oh my God. When I was there being, you know, talking with Tyra, which was the original first woman of color on the cover in 1997. When she presented to me, she played it so cool. She was like, oh, how does it feel to be in the magazine? One day you'll be on the cover. And here comes MJ with the iPad. Ah! Oh and it's just it's something like that you just really don't expect because I wasn't expecting it. I was like, I'm fine with just being in the magazine. I'm fine with just being a rookie. Let's work on being a rookie of the year. Like, let's see yeah. if that's the potential. And when they surprised me, I just knew that the world was going to change in that moment. I knew that this was part of the change that we needed to see for representation everywhere. So it was just, it's something that you don't dream of. You just kind of live. Well, you're living for sure. And you know, you mentioned it, Tyra Banks, she made history back in the 90s, breaking barriers then. And you're making history now as the first trans woman to cover SI Swimsuit Edition. What does that mean to you? But also, what does that mean to all those young trans kids who are going to be able to see you on this cover? It's just that we're in a different time, you know, like, we are able bodies. We are being represented on mainstream media and mainstream platforms where we can just see ourselves, see the reflection of who we are and know that we are being cherished amongst all those spaces. So we just gotta honestly just keep moving in this direction, like right here, you know, this is what the future looks like, this conversation, these moments. So we just gotta honestly brace ourselves and just honestly just all thrive together. Embrace ourselves, but also embrace others, right? Like, exactly. Like, see, do you have a favorite SI swimsuit cover of all time? There's been so many iconic photographs in this issue. Do you have a favorite that comes to mind? Tyrus, obviously, because it's my dad's favorites, and that's the one I first saw, the polka dot bikini. Like, <laughs> it was, it's just the waist, the hair, the body, the skin, the melanin, the beach, like, that was my dad's magazine and I saw it. So I was actually reading that magazine, looking into my future. So it will have to be that one because that's the first one I saw. Have you gotten the reaction from your family yet on this cover? <laughs> um, I actually, they told me not to tell anyone, but my dad, um, my dad actually, when I told him, he was like, I was like, dad, guess what? He's like, you got the cover. <laughs> it's like, how did you know? How did you know, daddy? He do. He just honestly, the advice that he told me, he was like, stay humble, love yourself, and bring your whole family and all your friends with you. Enjoy this moment together, all at the table. Let's all celebrate this together as a family. And that's to me, that's all I needed to hear. How are you celebrating? This is a big deal. Oh, um, next week we are going to be in Florida. We are okay. going to be celebrating this cover, this moment. 
um, Sports Illustrated 2021. And right after that, I'm headed to Cabo, Mexico, where my dad lives. And I'm going to celebrate with him on his birthday. So I'm bringing him a cover and I'm saying, I love you, happy birthday, and thank you for this opportunity. And that's that's all I need. Oh, you better sign that cover for him too. You better sign it. And, well, I mean, he birthed me to put on his so it's already. It's, I mean, I was raised by a single parent who loved me, who cherished me, who saw how beautiful I was before anyone else did. And he just put me on the path to just fly. And that's exactly what I did. You know, we can't talk about representation without talking about Pose. And we need to talk about your friggin' fierce appearance on season three. I was totally gagged. Um, how proud were you to see the show get showered with so much love this last week with the Emmy nominations? Oh my God, it was, I mean, we, I, we needed this the first season. Like this show is mon, is monumental, you know, for culture, for popular culture. It's so rich and you really get to see where the fantasy of entertainment comes from and where it's rooted in. So to be a part of that is truly, truly mind blowing. And for me to be on that show, I was honestly just paying homage to all the ballroom women that came before me that also are with me today and that are still living here that inspired me to go after my dream. So um, I wanted to pay homage to them, Carmen Extravaganza, Tene, Ajene, Tracy Africa, those women that I grew up loving. So to be able to play them in a beautiful way, to remind them that I see you, I saw you, and I'm inspired by you, and now I get to pay homage to you. It was just universe saying, this is for Circle, enjoy this moment and do it for them. Well, you did it. The category was fish. You were stunning. <laughs> it was amazing. It was so good. And what an amazing season. Mermaid um, fish. Right? All right. Uh, you were also featured in a film that premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival this past year. I'm just excited to learn and hear what's next for you. <gasps> Um, what's next for me? I am uh, literally going to take every single second by second, minute by minute, day by day, and I'm just going to enjoy this ride. Like I said in the beginning, time is in the essence of right now and tomorrow is not promised. So I just have to live in this moment. But there's so many exciting things coming out. There's so many uh, more history being made. And I just want to honestly just love every second and um, just enjoy it. You know what? What do we got to do to get you in Meg The Stallion's next music video? That's what should be next. <laughs> um, she's going to be, I mean, check us out this Saturday in Florida. So you may never know. She just reposted me on her story. I went crazy. I'm getting text messages from everybody. So it's really be, it's, it's really about to be a body yada 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 weekend. It's about to be a hot girl summer. Yes, yes. Exactly. Well, the sky's the limit for you. And I can't, I'm just so excited for you and what this means for all of us. So thank you. And I can't wait to see what you do next, girl. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. And this has been such an honor. And thank you so much, ET. Thank you so much. Thank you.